Joining us on the show this morning is the country manager for ALX Nigeria, Ruby Igwe. She will be talking to us more about what ALX Nigeria is all about. Welcome to the show, Ruby. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So we'd like you to just um, first off, what is ALX about? So ALX is a tech training accelerator that is the training arm of Sun Technologies, which is a global tech services company. We exist to provide millions of work opportunities for African youth, especially in Nigeria, because we are the biggest, one of the biggest populations in Africa. Okay. So what are some of the uh, programs um, ALX offers? So we have various programs across tech training. So we've got software engineering split into front end and back end. We've got cloud computing by AWS, Salesforce administration. Um, we've also got AI career essentials, as well as applied AI programs. We have a whole um, bevy of programs here. So I uh, hear that you're partnering with um, the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund. Yes. Yes, tell us about it. Okay, so we were, we have been collaborating with the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, but we're glad that we can officially announce a partnership. And what we plan to do is provide as much training for the Lagos State residents as possible and get as many of them, thousands, millions, into jobs. So how long have you guys been doing this and what's the success rate so far? Okay, thank you. Um, so we're in, um, we've been in Nigeria for about five years, but this ALX has existed in, in, um, as part of the African Leadership Group across the continent for nearly two decades now. And so far what we have seen is that graduates from our program have usually 50, 60 percent of them get jobs within six months of their training. Fantastic. So mm -hmm. I, I also see that you guys are building a community yes. yeah, of young people. And um, I, I think one of my mentees is a beneficiary That's of, of, yes, of the project. Esther, shout out to Esther Great. Hi, Esther. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she had absolutely no tech experience or background. And she was a bit afraid, you know, of, of taking the project or taking the program. But she did it. But it was really, really, really impactful. But now... Um, my question is, beyond the training, what more are you guys doing for those who have benefited from the program? Okay, so like Esther, we definitely promise that if you, whether or not you have experience in tech, you can get into our programs and act, you know, build up those skill sets and walk away a full stack developer, walk away a data analyst or a data scientist. But what we also have um, embedded into our programs is what we call our secret sauce and that's a foundational um, concentration of soft skills and civic minded skills as well because we're not just raising tech talent we don't just want people who are antisocial and who just want to code and whatnot we want to raise people who are knowledgeable and who are ready to solve Africa's grand challenges and you're right about the community we do have a community of over 140,000 learners and fellows who are graduates across mm -hmm. Nigeria we're in every single state in Nigeria um, I'd like you to share some of the success stories you know um, the highlights so that people watching can feel like it what's the impact being like i'm sure there are several stories for you to pick from yes okay so we can i can probably share three across the different um training programs we've had mm -hmm. so we've got um a virtual assistant someone who picked up um training in you know to become a virtual assistant um shout out to cheta um she was able to take on our training shortly after giving birth to her third child and after that she's been able to rack up a number of clients as well as set up a community of thousands of virtual assistants just like her. Mm -hmm. I also have another person who went through that program and after that was able to buy themselves a laptop and uplift their family. So another example as well is um, somebody who's gone through a data analysis program and even before he finished his program in April was already looking at a job offer. So he started working even before he finished his final exams. And then, of course, we also have a thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem. We supported over 4,000 startups last year. Mm -hmm. And um, Health Tracker and Money are one of those oh. um, ventures, yes. Mm -hmm. so I see that you have more collaborations. You had collaboration also, partnership with the Nigerian Bar Association and the Institute for Continuing Legal Education. You also had one with um, HFM Markets. 
How many more opportunities are open there for anybody trying to collaborate with you? So ALX is ready. It's open <laughs> season. We're more than happy to take <laughs> No, like we are ready. We are ready to partner with any and everyone because our mission and, and our numbers, our targets are in the millions. So while we have 140,000 and it can sound big to some people, to us, we're like, okay, we're just getting started. Oh. We're heading to the millions. So mm -hmm. we call on state governments, the federal government. A lot of those partnerships are already in the works. So we'll be announcing it a lot more as, the as time goes on. But we are looking for any and everyone. So businesses who want to do CSR or who want to train their own staff, churches, mosques, anyone, we are ready to work and train our young people so that they can build skills and uplift our country. Yeah, so uh, what qualifies you to be a part of ALX for those who are listening and want to join? to have some of the skills? So it's really simple. We just want you to be between 18 and 35. So I'm officially the definition of a so young person. You don't person. come off for the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me that. No, no. You, you got all of you are in that age. Yeah. We're 16, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. So that's the issue. Yeah. We're 16. Yeah. I yeah. said 18. Just can you just put it down a bit? Yes, you just have to. You, have, you can turn 18 in the program, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just have a couple more years to go. But, you yeah, know, 18 to 35, you should ideally have a laptop or access to a laptop. Okay. And um, you don't need to have finished secondary school or any of those things. You just need to be ready to learn because we will teach you. So I'd like you to break down some of the programs specifically. I know you mentioned them in passing, but somebody watching right now would want to see which of the programs ALX has would be a fit for me. Okay. So I think the most, the, the program that is definitely a, you know, if you want to, you know, dip your toe in and see how you're feeling, is probably the AI Career Essentials program. So that program is six weeks and it focuses a lot on AI and everybody's hearing about AI, what's AI? AI is going to take my job. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what is happening. It will break that down for you, provide you with um, an understanding of hundreds of tools that are available um, in AI. So people use AI for writing emails. People also use AI to edit content. So all of those things are available. So that's an AI program. The data analysis and data science program are helmed by Explore AI. And that is, with that, it's, it's a, almost like a gamified experience. So you actually, um, you're introduced to a, a, a fictional country called Mali and Jogo and they're trying to solve water, um, a water crisis and you're in there trying to figure out the data and try to make sense of it and in so doing you learn. So that's data. Cloud computing is AWS and then you've got Salesforce administration as okay. well. And okay. then software engineering, um, front end and back end development. Wow. This is this is a career opportunity a yes. career change. Shima, do you have any question? Basically what do you have to say to those watching? ALX is here for you. <laughs> we want to take you to the next level in your career. And we also stay with you. So we're not one of those tech talent programs who just wants to train you in tech and then throw you out in three weeks or mm -hmm. two weeks. We want to cook you and make sure that you are aware of Africa's grand challenges and you walk away a global citizen, a continental citizen, a strong national citizen. And even after the program, we're there with you throughout the course of your career to make sure that you're continuing to be supported by a thriving community. Is the training physical or virtual? Okay, so we have, all, all our programs are completely remote, but we have hubs across Lagos. So we have 11 hubs currently in Lagos, and we, we have one in Abuja and one in Potakos. And what we do there is we allow any of our remote learners or anyone who signed up for a hybrid option to come in and learn from both the fellows and, you know, the community that exists therein. Wow. Thank you so much. Well done. I'm Thank sure you. that th this this year they say we should not grieve for anybody. <laughs> yes. So anybody that would not make us make money, we know they grieve for the person. Yes. I'm sure people will be reaching out to your platform right now to get the information on how yes. to register. It, what would be that platform? Yes, alxafrica.ng. So oh. no grief for anybody but ALX. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Thank all we can you. take on this segment. Thank you so much, Ruby, for joining us. Thank Ruby you for having is, me. Ruby Igwe is the country manager for ALX Nigeria. We'll take a break now. When we return, we'll continue with another segment.